Welcome mm -hmm. back to the receive side of the Thunderpole T800 CE Multi CB radio from 2017. So at the moment you're listening to 3 microvolts. What we're going to do is we're going to just start by setting the detector. So putting a whacking great big signal on something like plus 30. And the plan is there's an oscilloscope on the output of the speaker. And what we're looking for it's also an audio milli voltmeter, but we're also what we're looking for is maximum sine wave. And that's going to be the detector coil just there. Well, I can go to the foot of our stairs because it's a good saying, isn't it? Because I can see hardly any adjustment on that whatsoever. But that was going to be the detector coil. Right, what we'll do is we'll go into the front end. And that's very, very good. That's 0 0.3 of a microvolt we're listening to. So I'm now looking at a cyanide meter. Difference there. Difference there. See whether we can improve it even further. And the answer is no. And it's receiving down to point 0.1 of a microphone, it's incredible sensitivity. So that's covered the front end. Let's see what the signal meter says for itself. So at the moment, um, we're getting not quite S9 on the meter. So we'll just adjust the meter sensitivity for that. So the adjustment for the receive meter is the preset just there. So we've now got S9 on the signal generator. We don't want the plus 30 to light. There we are. Now if I turn the signal generator up, we get the plus 30 light. So that's tracking how we would expect. Well that just brings us to the squelch. Well, of course, you've got the auto squelch, which will be a preset squelch, and you've got the normal squelch. So we'll start by turning the signal generator off, setting the squelch to threshold, and then switching the signal generator back on. And it comes in at three microvolts. And we'll see when the auto squash comes in. Ah, that's not working right. So we'll start by adjusting the auto squash preset, which is there just in front of the chip. So we'll now see what we get, having just uh, adjusted that slightly. We're in auto squelch mode, so we've got the light there to say so. Signal generator on, one microvolt, three microvolt, comes in at three, tracking to one, tracking to 0 0.3. So that's how you'd expect that to be. So switch to manual squelch by defeating that. The light's now gone out from ASQ, and we'll see how that performs. set threshold, signal generator on, and it's pretty similar. Well, we want it a bit more, uh, shall we say, kind than that. So let's go, just go through the adjustment. So the standard squelch preset is the one just there. So now we've turned the signal generator off, we've so put the squelch to the threshold, and we'll just advance the 
signal generator. Oh, it comes in at three. I mean, I'd like it to be more sensitive, but it isn't. Now we'll set the squelch to full. And make sure that the radio does open up at some point. Just about plus 30. So that gives you a good range from, uh, well, three, three microvolts opening to, uh, to the equivalent of S30. But the squelch does track down to one microvolt. Uh, let's just do that again at the lower end of the scale. So set it to threshold, generator back on. 0 0.3, 0 0.1, 3. Cuts out at 0 0.5. So it does give a, give a useful range at its lowest setting. Well, that actually leaves with one preset, which we don't know what it does. And that's there. Well, presumably, if that really is a transmit meter, then that must be the preset for it. But we can't make it do anything at any power level. So there you are. So there you have it, the uh, Thunderbolt T800. And the next video will be on the air test.